I want to add uh, to your loving kindness mm -hmm. uh, meditation. I teach this thing called fantasy meditation. Yeah. And uh, one of the things that I think is fun to do is just to imagine things, not for the sake of visualizing something for it to occur, but just for the pleasure that you get in the idea. And one of my favorite things to do, one of my favorite things to do is to imagine that you somehow got a billion dollars, all right? Or a hundred million dollars, a billion dollars, whatever, whatever number. And then in your mind, spend that money on your family, friends, and the people that you care about. Spend it. Mm -hmm. Imagine it. Like, literally imagine the steps that I went and I bought the uh, iPad and then uh, I chose it and, oh my God, they're going to really like this one. And then how will I package it? Is there some surprise way that I would give it to them? And then how will they look when they open it up? And what would they do on it? And how happy would they be? And then buy them a yacht and buy them a house and buy them, like, whatever it is, just spend the money, spend the money on the people that you care about in your mind. It's a super fun thing to do. I used to do this Almost every time to go to bed, I just imagine spending money and what I would buy. Not for the sake of having it done. I'm never going to have a billion dollars. Mm. That just that just mm. hit me right there. I just. <laughs> <laughs> but, a billion? Uh, we don't need a billion dollars. <laughs> no, some of us have big ideas, you know, and a billion is not even close enough, okay? A billion is not even close enough. Anyway, uh, you can have fun doing that. You can have fun doing that. And what it did for me is that it kind of... First of all, I was surprised mm. by how good it felt to spend imaginary money <laughs> on my family and friends. I, I was surprised. And the love that you got from it, you start realizing, oh my God, I really do want the people I care about to feel good. Not just feel good, but I want, the, I want them to have moments in their life where they feel just utter greatness and joy and happiness. And then it gave me motivation to work hard and to do things and in order to achieve a success in life so that... I can have some type of piece of that, some t something that I can give to other people. And sometimes it's just a kind word or a, a small gift or something that doesn't even cost money. You start realizing, oh my God, I can make this person feel this way right now if I send them this message, if I say this thing, if I tell them a joke. You know, sometimes I craft jokes just for Sam. I craft them just to make her laugh. Like I'll sit and I'll think, okay, if I say this, and then I'll wait for timing and I'll wait for it to happen and I'll save the joke and then something will happen and I'll boom, throw it out there and then she'll laugh till she pees or almost pees. And I'll be like laughing i'm like oh my god it worked out so great and what i did was i just took time just private time and i cultivated what was in my mind my thoughts so that i could have this experience with her and doing that with fancy meditation spending that money in your mind might reveal to you just how much you love you feel for the people who are in your life you know you, maybe your mother annoys you you know, but how how much will she annoy you the day you buy her a house? You know what I mean? Like, imagine that. Imagine how you just imagine the most curmudgeon person in your family, and you did something really great and unexpected for them. How would how would that make them feel? Would they really still be against you? Would they really be holding uh, grudges? I don't yeah. know. It's a fun thing I for to it. do. It's a fun game, and I suggest you do it. Love it. Love and kindness meditation, fantasy meditation, pandemic love, all things love. Hey, Sam wanted to talk about all things love. And I was like, hey, this is, this is totally unfocused. What are we going to talk about? We're not going to talk about anything. <laughs> She's totally right. Totally right. Uh, for everybody who's watching this, if you're watching this after the fact, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that like so that we, uh, that you, you, we know you like the video. And make sure to share it with somebody if you like them. But hit that little bell so that you know when we go live. We upload videos, we get uh, great content, we're doing wonderful things. Thank you everybody for watching.